my parents still to this day would always get a daily newspaper. The Sunday newspaper would always have a house and related floor plans. And so you're looking at over 50 different houses every single year with all different plans. A house would have a kitchen, it would have a living room, it would have bedrooms, but yet you could configure these in very different ways. And so this manipulation of space and how that structure is relating to a landscape, all these different features, I just found fascinating. And when I was around 12 years old, I figured out I wanted to be an architect. All of junior high, all of high school was trying to get good grades such that I could go to a good university to study architecture. I ended up going to Penn State. The architecture program was intense. And so even though I had been incredibly successful in high school, right away from college, it was a tremendous challenge. My first year was very much just trying to get better because at the end of the second year, you have to submit your portfolio for review. If you are successful, you can continue in the program. If you are not, well, you can't. And, you know, I worked hard. I submitted my portfolio. We all got letters back, and they were, there were five standard letters. Number one, you're god-awful. Number five, you're the next world-famous architect. And I got a number two. The letter stated that there were serious deficiencies in my work, and I could not continue in the program. That was devastating, absolutely devastating. This is all right at the end of the semester, finals are occurring, and then I'm literally leaving for the summer. I went home to try to get a job. It took me about a month to get a job. And my very first night as a dishwasher, the restaurant was busy. I mean, even though this is rural Pennsylvania, it was packed. And so I'm scrubbing and the pile's just getting higher and higher, and I scrub faster and faster. And the head chef comes, comes into the kitchen with two of my pots in his hands. And he says, I don't think these have been this clean since they were brand new. And I'm thinking, I'm not a failure. I can wash pots. And so I put in hundreds of hours in that restaurant. And so, I, you know, I mean, I had spent the summer trying to re rebuild my self-confidence, trying to figure out, well, what do I really wish to do? I decided to become an art history major to focus on architectural history, and then I registered for my courses. A couple weeks later, the fall term started. I earned a 4.0 and never looked back. A couple of interrelated ironies. I was not good enough to be an architecture student, but I am a national award-winning architectural educator. And right here at the University of Pittsburgh, I teach the Intro to Architecture courses. I was that struggling student at the beginning. Now I get to help students at the very beginning of their architectural journeys. And I love that immensely. How do you respond to challenges and how do you respond to opportunities? Those are the things that really determine who you are. Many of us are presented opportunities. Do we accept them or do we say, oh no, I can't do that? You know, with challenges, oh, this is too big. Or, okay, I'll take that challenge. By looking at how you respond to challenges and opportunities, that's how one could evaluate oneself and, you know, grow from these things.